Hi, my name is Dan Sigafoos, and I'm here with Epitome Fitness and Combat Skin to introduce you guys to the new Sonic Boom Speed Rope. This is going to be the beginner video, which is going to be 10 minutes long. We're going to be introducing you to a variety of new moves that are there to try to improve your skills and get you guys ready for the next video, which will be our intermediate section. In this 10 minute video, we're going to do one to two minutes of work, followed by one minute of stretching that's going to be used as active rest. The point is that we want to keep your heart rate up and running, um, but at the same time try to stretch and get your muscles feeling better and better for the next sections. Let's get to it. All right, so this is the basic balance. Some of the times um, people will take double jumps, and this is not as effective. We want to get you as quickly as possible up to one jump per rotation. Another common pitfall is that people use a lot of big arm movements. You want to try to keep it nice and relaxed to your sides the whole time. Try to use a lot of wrists. Don't hold your wrists real tight. Make it nice and loose. Also with your feet, make sure that you're staying on your toes. That lean big leg lifts. Nice and relaxed. All right, that's one minute, guys. Let's do a little bit of stretching as active rest here. First stretch, I want you to press your hands through the floor and reach your neck up towards the sky. Reach your neck down towards the bottom of the floor. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Then we're gonna warm up your shoulders a bit. Forward arm circles. Backwards arm circles. A couple twists. And last one we're gonna do is just a couple ankle rotations. Get your ankles loosened up. Okay guys, that's been a minute. Let's get back into it. This one's gonna be our first two minute section. Let's go back to your basic bounce. Okay, these are gonna be your new moves. We're gonna to try to do a little side to side hop. Okay, so when you do these, it's don't do a huge jump left to right. Just a small jump. And you get used to moving your feet different than they were before. Again, common pitfalls are when you try to do a new move with your legs, that your arms will slow down. Try to keep the wrists moving nice and fast the whole time. Okay, second move, we're gonna try to do front to back. We're gonna be doing a, it's called a bell hop. Again, a little bit trickier, but it's just making it so that you're practicing Moving in different planes, different directions. All right, let's go back to your basic. We got one more minute here, guys. Hang with me. Back to side to side hop. Yeah, nice small hops. Try to focus on keeping your wrists nice and loose. Five more seconds and we're back into our bell hop. And switch. Last 30 seconds here. Again, your shoulders, your calves, everything might be getting a little bit tight here, but you're gonna hang through until the next stretching. 15 seconds. Here we go, five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, again, a minute of stretching here. You're gonna go into a deep lunge with both your hands inside your foot. You're gonna rotate open. Put your hand outside your foot. 
Stretch your hamstring as much as you can. You should feel a big stretch on the back of your leg. Drop your knees down. And the last part here is you're going to tuck your butt under and rotate. Good, let's do the same thing on the opposite side. Both hands inside. Rotate open. Stretch your hamstring. Drop your back knee. Remember to tuck under here and rotate. Okay, good. When you're doing that one, you should feel a nice stretch on the front. We're a little bit over a minute here, so we're going to jump back in to our next section. In this section, let's start off with your basic bounce. Okay, good. Now what we're looking to do here is split your feet. So finally, they're going to be independent. I want you to try to do a straddle hop. You're going to split your feet and land with them wide and then narrow. Good. This is going to make it so that you're making sure that you're jumping over the rope and you're at your highest point when it's going over you. Let's get 10 more seconds here. Okay, good. The second one, let's go back to your basic bounce, is going to be a front to back split. So on these, you're going to split forward and then back. Again, these don't have to be really wide splits jumps. Just enough to make it a little bit more challenging than if your feet are together. And back to basics. We're gonna go 30 more seconds here. Okay, here we go, back after the splits. Straddle jump. Remember to keep the arms moving, you want to keep that rope hitting on the same tempo every time. Five more seconds here. And our last 30 seconds, one more time, front to back jumps. Front to back splits. And again, if you're messing up at all, don't be discouraged. Just keep moving, get that rope going again, and always start back up on your basic balance to get your confidence back up. Last seven seconds here. And rest. Nice. Now at this point, your calves are probably getting pretty tight from all the jumping. So this is where we want to get them a big stretch. You're going to go into a downward dog position. And all you're gonna do is a classic move called walk the dog. Push your left heel towards the floor. Alternate and push your right heel towards the floor. Take your time on these. Remember, you're trying to let your heart get down a little bit. <sighs> nice deep breaths. And try to let those calves get a big stretch. Got about 20 more seconds we're gonna spend here. If you want to go into a deeper stretch, you can lay one foot over the other and press your heel towards the floor. Go ahead and relax. Okay. We're on the last section, guys. Hang with me here. In this last section, let's start back up. Basic bounce. Okay, we're going to learn something called the boxer step. So the boxer step is really similar to our side to side. Except for the only difference is that you're going to land mostly on one foot or mostly on the other. So right here I'm landing mostly on my right, mostly on my left. Just a little bit on each. Think like 80-20 or 90-10 if you're talking percentages here. Nice and relaxed, same pace as before. Good, the second move and the last thing that we're going to learn on this is a side to side transition. For this move, all you gotta do is take both handles together 
and move them off to the side. This is gonna be later used as a form of active rest to help you get through really tough sections, but right now it's just good practice. Whenever you wanna jump back in, you're gonna bring it back to the middle, and come right back into your jump. So in motion, it's gonna look like left, right, and then back through. Left, right, back through. Now that's not to say you can't go right, left, but you'll probably find one side works better than the other. Okay, so let's go back to that boxer step. And then let's try to do a side swing transition. Boxer step. Side swing transition. Let's try to get five more of those, and that should be about it for this. There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. And last one before we do our last stretching section. Five. Good work. Guys, that's the end of the 10 minute beginner section. Uh, stay tuned for the intermediate. We have a 20 minute video that's gonna be coming up. I uh, hope you guys hung in there and learned some new stuff. See you on the next one.